Let me ask you a very quick question. Have you ever watched a YouTube video about how much a YouTuber makes on his or her own channel and you have to wait for almost an hour only to get that in the end of the video? I am Matthew Singati. I'm the designer and developer from South Africa. I'm here to tell you I am going to reverse that. We are going to start from exactly how much am I making? Why am I going to do that? Simply because I believe how much I'm making, it's not enough to help you understand YouTube, maybe to help you to consume it differently or at least to help you to get into making your own videos and have your own YouTube channel. So these are the key points that I'm going to talk to you about after I have showed you how much I make. I'm going to define for you what is YouTube. I'm going to put a twist on it. It's not exactly what you know. What, why you must start a YouTube channel what they will never tell you, revealing actually what makes money for me and what you probably didn't know about this video. Without wasting time, let's just jump straight to why we are here. So I'm just going to go to uh, YouTube studio. Okay, to show you how much money I make. I'm not going to teach you what you can learn on YouTube. There are people who can teach you more about click-through rates and um, an algorithm than me okay so that one i will let you handle it okay so as you can see guys i believe this amount okay you can convert it into your own local currency i believe this amount is not for like the whole the whole what the whole period okay meaning that from the first um, from the day I was monetized, okay? My apologies about that. From the day I was monetized. So I'm trying to say, I'm going to show you um, another amount. Um, I think I can go to analytics, I think. And then I am going to come here, okay? And change this 28 days. And then I'm going to check lifetime, okay? Now this is the, I think this is the actual amount of money um, this channel has made. As I've told you, I'm not going to convert this into rent, um, what can I say, different currencies. It's something that you can do. What is more important for me is to supply you with data that will help you to make the conclusion that you want to make. What you want to make or what you want to know is based on who you are, where you're from and what you are passionate about. Is it worth it? Okay, that's what you want to know. So I'm going to supply you with information that will help you to make that conclusion. So maybe if you only wanted to know how much this channel makes, this is how much it has made. I think I've got plus minus, um, let's say one and a half month monetized. Okay, plus minus, but it's not for too long. Okay, um, I recently reached um, 4,000 hours okay of watch time okay so i have not been monetized like um from long time ago okay so without wasting time guys um let's just get into it i'm going to be very brief and i'm going to help you maybe to some sort of start your own youtube channel or understand youtube so my point number one is let me just go to my channel my apologies about that okay i'm going to pause the video that will play here so that it cannot let me just click here Okay, so my point number one is what is YouTube, okay? Maybe people have got a different definition. A YouTube, it's a video first content search engine. I'm not going to define it in that way. I'm going to define it in a way that can help you quickly understand and maybe take lesser time than me, okay? What is YouTube? YouTube, it's an intelligent algorithm. No emotion and it relies on certain key matrices it's a code okay it's a code it relies on key setting matrices it looks for certain things it doesn't matter how you start your channel how you do it and how you think and how smart you are if you don't fall in one of those categories okay if you're not good at it and you don't understand them you are not going to win i'm i apologize for that but that's the bitter truth okay so if you want a living proof of that come and check here I'm going to show you my very first video and tell me if you would like this for you. Would you be happy if you can receive 32 views for three years? It's not nice, eh? 32, it's better. Check here. We've got 13. Check here. We've got seven. We've got five. This, this data or these stats, like the conclusion that I'm drawing from it, it's like I didn't exist here. Okay, it took me time to create these videos and it's a lot of them. Let me show you. Okay, it's not like one video or, as you see, 10, 
nine. It's a lot of them, okay? 39. As you can see, it's a lot of them. But I didn't get uh, the views that I was hoping for. Why? My definition of YouTube was wrong. I thought YouTube, it's a place where you meet a lot of people from different places. You know, they will see your videos. They will play your video. That's not the case. YouTube, it's an algorithm. It relies on certain key matrices, on certain things. If you don't know those things, you are in trouble. So let's quickly get to point number two, why you should start. Obviously, at this point in time, you think you have to be a guru in order to get into YouTube. That's not the case. Get into YouTube to learn. Get into YouTube for as a self-improvement plan. You want to make your life better. Okay. So meaning that you are not going to be here to pretend like a guru because if you do that, you are not going to be authentic and genuine and you are not going to be able to keep up with not necessarily that lie, but the idea of pretending you know a topic whereas you don't. But if you can tell people that you don't, then they will relate to you and I think they will subscribe and they will want, they will want to get lost in the topic with you. If you are a supporter of this channel, you will know I don't know a lot of things. Most of the things I copy and paste from the internet as I am trying to solve the problem. Let's get to another point. Um what they will never tell you about youtube what they will never tell you about youtube is that number one youtube is easier than you think if you have mastered that it's an algorithm it's a certain code okay now you will know that you just have to fall in one not in one in all of those key matrices in all of those eyes algorithm eyes how the the algorithm sees people and this is one of the things that um, the, it, it won't be prioritized. Let me just put it like up front, shout it out loud, okay? Don't rely on your creativity. Don't rely on your equipment. Don't rely on your quality. Don't rely on your personality. Don't rely on your intelligence. Don't rely on your presentation skills. Just copy and paste. No one will tell you that. If you want to get into um, coding C Sharp, just search coding C Sharp and see what other people are doing and copy exactly that. Copy it in bad quality, copy it in, in poor camera, copy it in poor. All those things are not necessary. Okay, so they will never tell you that, but it's the easy way to do that. The reason why I'm saying is you want to learn YouTube, you want to find yourself, isn't it? You want to truly, truly do what you are good at, okay? Tell me which way would you rather do it? Would you rather do it in a way that you are going to be authentic, have your own voice and be genuine and try to tell people what you think they want to know? If you want to do it that way, you won't have enough people to even make any conclusion. Okay, if I've got seven views and YouTube has got, let's say, more than a billion people or people who viewed the platform and in that billion in three years, I only got seven. What conclusion can I make demographically or geographically? Nothing. I'm not going to learn. I'm not going to improve, okay? You can't improve what you don't measure. You can measure what exists. So if you start by being yourself and sharing your own thoughts and ideas, things that are not searchable, the algorithm is not going to promote you. Check here. This is two views in three years, okay? So I don't want you to fall in this trap. Be a proud copycat. It will help you as as painful as it is, more especially if you're like me from cre from graphic design. As graphic designers, we don't graphic design doesn't repeat itself or art. Okay, we hate copying. Okay, we hate copying. But if you are starting a YouTube channel, just copy and paste. Uh, do you want to get into cooking? Go and search cooking and what interests you, and then copy and paste the same video and do it your way. And then um, step number two, go and check a channel that inspires you on cooking, copy their own uh, banner, copy their own thumbnail and copy and copy and paste. Maybe after three months, okay, what you can do, always check what is successful on this video, change a little bit, what is successful on this video, change a little bit. So I, I would say for the first five months, you, you won't be really yourself and it's normal, okay? Y then you will find yourself as you copy and paste others and have more information about algorithm, okay? Revealing what actually makes money for me. To be honest, as much as we are chasing subscribers, okay, uh, we are part of uh, the YouTube algorithm, we all want to be liked by the algorithm. But if you are only looking at algorithm as a way of being supported by your audience, then still you are limiting yourself. 
it remember we are still on part of copy and paste okay why other people they've got a buy me a coffee link okay i didn't do this buy me a coffee link because somebody wanted to support me i copied and pasted it okay i was like if all other developers around the world they are doing it maybe there's something that i'm missing believe me there was something that i'm missing check here these are people who supported me for helping them with my own skills and passion okay i didn't nobody requested to pay me and buy me a coffee i did it before it was copy and paste and the first guy came very humble guy and um, i appreciate him he just sent something and he said i appreciate your work boom and that was it okay so um copy and paste is the best i i don't know how could i drill that into your mind that you don't have to be creative you don't have to have quality you don't have to have um you can even use your cell phone you can even i think it's uh think media the guy from think media where he says just press record i think that's the best way to put it okay so let's continue and keep it going and keep it flowing um so revealing what actually makes money for me what makes money for me is teaching people what i know and that's it okay so as time goes by as i said as a graphic designer um and i seen that there's something that i'm doing wrong so somewhere here i changed as you can see this is two years ago so somewhere here i changed and i went into uh programming and even in programming i was random mix of graphic design until i realized that there's something wrong about here i st still need to niche down until I was a React developer and people are happy to support me financially for helping them to learn React, okay? So let's continue. The last one, what you probably didn't know about this video. What you probably didn't know about this video is not my original thought. I saw it on my YouTube feed. I'm not sure if that's the right word, okay? I am not very good or smart with YouTube. I saw it somewhere here, okay? And I saw that it's gaining some views and I was like, okay, let me copy the exact um, title. Obviously, the thumbnail, it doesn't really have to. Okay, but let me copy the exact title and copy um, and do the actual video because it looks like people want to see it. Okay, look, uh, but it's not this one. Okay, because it was a guy. Okay, but time and again, I get videos like this. How much money? So we can make an example of this one. But the one that I saw, it was way more than this. And it was like, 20k views in a week not nine months okay so i look for these things and then check the views and I'm like, okay maybe people want to know this but um when i'm doing it okay i will have to check what do i think it's valuable in it what's the best way to help somebody to quickly get what they want and i will put my own local twist and i will deliver what i think is valuable knowing very well that the algorithm like those titles i think i might see this video here but it's not here i am met him singati the designer and developer from south africa if you feel like this video has added value or you want to learn react in the way in which you will implement it in the work environment please don't forget to subscribe see you on the next one thank you so much